starting day off with a fresh new oil change. And just a little start so you guys can see what I use for mine, my car. Valvoline 2050, get it anywhere from your local parts store, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, or Riley's or whatever. And the OEM Mitsubishi oil filters. The good stuff. Now let's get to work. Discovered my first, well my second oil leak from the same spot. Back here is the old pressure switch. And these over time, that thing will start to seep from all that oil pressure. And go grab another one from the uh, auto parts store. Looking down like, bro, why is it leaking oil? This thing doesn't leak at all. And if you can see it's right there. That's a nice size drip, my boy. And it's back on the T-case as well. So, yeah, that thing is donezo. But it's easy, uh, easy fix. I'm glad I caught that. So, yeah, let's get that uh, replaced. Hop in the daily. Run to the parts store and get this thing um, good as new, which is no oil leaks. All right, here's the old one. It ballooned compared to the new one. So, easy swap. This is the pressure, oil pressure switch. We let the oil drink out and then that will be good to go after this. Alright, let that drain. Easy maintenance. Cool. Alright, fellas and ladies, we are all good to go under here. Not too bad. Cause I won't leak, I just cleaned up. But everything's all tightened up and looks good. As usual inspection I do. You know, I get a chance to look under it, I'll look under it, so. But all good, nothing out of whack. Everything is all everything is uh, still intact. Free bar, free of charge, no no the vibes. Put oil in this thing, then um I'm gonna give it a quick wash. So I'm gonna finish it up here and see you guys in a few minutes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yep, a clean car, man, is always, always the best looking car. But uh, right now, at the well, the oil change is done. Got the new um, oil pressure sensor swapped out. The leak is addressed. It's all good to go. I'm gonna go here and change. We'll head over to the parking garage at this college and go over my one year overview of the Evo so far. More of our thoughts of the car and the plans for the future with it and you know x y and z basically just a little rundown and talking about the about the experience so far and like i said what's to come next as the future goal with this thing and would i sell it yeah would i sell it yes ma'am let it warm up do her thing Head out to the uh, parking garage at the college campus. Looking good. Looking good. Bro, great car. Great car. Yeah. Little warm up, do our thing, and we will head out. And by the way, there's a car meet tonight, so hopefully that goes according to plan. We're gonna head over there as well whenever. Um, Tell me get the cars together and cleaned up and all that stuff. So we'll see them later on tonight, hopefully. Alright, so I'm using a new um, setting. I'm using the uh, activity mode, so seems to be better from my phone's perspective. So hopefully it turns out good when I go back to look at the playback video footage. Fresh oil.
seatbelt. Gotta have that on, bro. Alright spot. Yeah man, just a little rundown on the car and how's it been going so far, y'all? Uh, haven't been very transparent with this thing since getting tuned really. But um here we go. So it's a new viewer. This is my old the Mitsubishi Evolution 8 GSR. Had it for two years. First year of ownership. After like buying it, I blew it up in like <laughs> four months. Fuel pump. Uh, went out. It's on twin fuel pumps. They were they were bad. I knew that, but I wasn't listening. Well, I was listening, but just I kept driving the car and waiting to get to around to get it parked and all freshened up. And my last drive of my vlog, I said, "All right, guys, last video for goes to get um, some 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 servicing." Got into it a little bit. Fuel pump gave out finally, and the head uh, cylinder head gave out. Molted. The cylinder head, I uh, bent through, I, I bent four valves and I nicked four pistons because of the valves, obviously. So we did a whole new rebuild with this thing. Um, it's nowhere near what it was when I first bought the car. Uh, makes over 800 horsepower right now. Well, to be exact, to the wheels, 820 to the wheels and 640 torque. That's on E85 gas. And pump and gas premium 93. It's at 500 horsepower and 400 torque. So, 
it's definitely uh <laughs> spicy really spicy of a car but uh the motor itself is still 2.0 it's been boiled over 0.20 has wide scale hd pistons 85.5 millimeters precision precision 6466 uh gen 2 turbo hold gsc head package gsc s3 cams uh gsc standard size valves exhaust and intake uh, springs as well are GSC so all GSC stuff A little STM cam cap cover the, the the intake is stock but ported by Kurt Brown also has a Kurt Brown ported uh, head as well so motor is pretty much is really much stout has a built transmission by a local uh, Evo expert here in Jacksonville David Whippy built transmission Built transfer case. This car is non ACD, but it does have the Evo 8 RS rear diff. Like I said, built transfer case, built everything literally. Uh, luckily for me, when the car did uh, blow up that day, um, everything we could reuse, we did, which was the rods, um, the rod bolts. Other than that, we did everything else. Um, it has the ARP 625 uh, head studs. Full blown throttle body, 70 millimeter. JMF uh, exhaust manifold. Tile wastegate. AM true time cam gears. Uh, radium fuel rail with 2150 FIC injectors. It's powered on the AM Infinity ECU, which is tucked up on the glove box. It's on flex fuel, as I was saying. If I didn't say it, it is on flex fuel. Also has the Pro 12 CDI box, STM uh, trans mount, catch can, three port. So, uh, like I said, man, this car has everything, bro. Literally all the bells and whistles. Luckily, I didn't throw a rod out the motor. It just blew the head, and the AEM killed the car in time. So thanks to AEM for the safety features. Yeah, that that saved the car literally, bro. If it was like you see, it would have kept driving, and then I know it would have been a lot more damage. The car is still on stock crank. We had that redone too. Everything literally got redone with this thing. So um, it's been a journey with this car. I'm more than happy with it. Everything I want to do with it while I was down, I did do besides one thing. I want to color match the calipers to the Illusion Orange, but uh, just didn't get around to it. Didn't really much care for it. Well, I did, but it just wasn't a do or die thing. So the car is uh, on two fuel pumps, as I was saying. The new fuel pumps we have in here, the primary is a 450 wall barrel. The secondary fuel pump is a 525 Hellcat fuel pump. So she has all of the fuel. But this car, man, has um, a turbo body. We have a car that you really, really want and have a goal. If it works out or if it doesn't, you just still have that goal in mind and it does come to fruition. It just makes everything feel better about yourself as confidence and, you know, just in life. We live in a crazy world, man. Having something that you'd be proud of that you did, you know, or played a role in, it's very rewarding and just gives you the extra confidence that you want in life. So this car definitely uh, gave me an extra boost. Compared to my radio boost to have, that car was a great car. I had it for almost six years. And as you see, I love these Evos, man. They're fun cars. It's been a fun car, bro. Uh, now the thing is, would I sell it? I've been offered twice for this thing. And I'm one of the guys where, you know, if it makes sense, then sure. But I don't need to sell it, obviously. And um, I bought that whole selling thing. Uh, I didn't buy this car to sell it or get rid of it anytime soon. I didn't buy it for YouTube or anything for social media purposes. Like I said, my Red Evo had for six, over six years, give or take. And um, that pretty much says it alone for the car itself i enjoy these cars they're fun for the money you can't just beat it bro um all-wheel drive turbo and they look just timeless as a, as, a, as a car they're very timeless at the market support is everything you do these things you can do it you can stance, stance it i don't recommend go fast or just make them bolt on and have fun you know so all around support these cars are just crazy you can do to them um i enjoy these cars like i said and uh 
this is all like a thing as well from my perspective take away social media take away youtube all the content and stuff can you live with the car offline you know can you drive it every day or you know, have your fun with the enjoy it off social media a car you can live with x y and z and this car checks off all the all of the boxes so um it's rewarding bro it really is i don't want to hype up the car you know it has this has this flaws it's an older car but for me personally i can just drive this thing if i could all day but add ac first <laughs> but you know um this car did boost my channel a lot it did for that i'm very thankful i don't see me selling this car anytime soon but if the hey, money talks you know it talks you know take it but i don't see me saying i've had one offer bro one real offer i sat on it and it's not to the point where it's about the money it's just i have so much time to this thing and i got what i wanted the color i always wanted the spec the power everything it just says vince you know this is what you wanted for so long and from where i came from my first car was acura integra uh 99 atlas automatic v18 b1 and to see where i am standing behind now is bro <laughs> such such man a blessing such a blessing but yeah like i was saying about you know the age of course it had this flaws it's an 03 it's been outside most of this life as well it's been garage here and there but most of the time before i bought the car it was outside so you know the sun did its course on the roof i fit up two painters with this thing by getting this thing re-cleared repainted just the top portion all it needs i'm getting a run around as we speak so i had a guy but just i hear nothing i get told bring the car this day i hit him up something's going on so i hit up a guy that i know down south in miami or i'm sorry orlando he has evil weight as well and he has a painter but his painter as well is giving him the runaround for his own stuff for my friend's car so uh that will get repainted never gets the time just comes to get repainted i mean i'm not really crying about it you know it just comes with an older car like i was saying again it's a platform that i really really love and i enjoy so i'm okay with living with the flaws of a car you know social media we get distracted with the perfect car and your car should be perfect x y and z but in my opinion that shit just adds character to the car just adds character <laughs> just but one day it will get fixed you just there's no time frame on it my bad y'all battery died on me but uh back at home and overall man just long story short with this thing this car been phenomenal to the good and the bad this car i've been through it all with it so far and short on the time but uh you know maintaining maintaining the car to the best of my abilities and it's been it's been uh, rewarding me ever since so i'm thankful ah just look at it bro it's just <laughs> it really needs just a few things just in general to make them look really really good and um i got a few things i want to do with this car next year by the right now i'm happy where it is because i have to paint but Maybe next year, new wheels and small things like that. But overall, she's my she's my keeper. I love her. I love this thing. But we got a car meet later tonight, so I'm getting here and get ready and see you guys in a few minutes. Got my windows up now. But just man, just car just a big weight off your shoulder. Bucket list checked. Like I said, it helped me boost my channel and. My outlook on other things too, as far as confidence, you know. No matter how bad something can turn out, there's a better end of that uh, situation. And this car alone, for me, that did that, obviously. So, I wanna keep it around as long as I can. The car treats me very, very well, so. Success. Overall, the homie in front of us, this homie's Trent C7 Corvette V06, supercharged motherfucker. I think so sick. Very, very clean, too. Very, very clean.
ain't no light, but try and shine, gang. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. We outside. We outside. Be <laughs> I'm a crow when I can, when I can. Damn. That's what I need, a light if you got on your uh, GoPro. I need the, uh, the medium eye. Yeah, I need with, that. Yeah, medium eye with the, uh, the light. It works. Can't see nothing. My apologies, y'all. My apologies. to this racetrack everybody outside over here so hopefully you have better lighting we'll see but so far mostly bikes but over here is the other crowd where the other cars are they smart though bro they part by the lighting by the lighting i guess so Yes, sir. Man, I'm sleeping Miggies. Yeah. <laughs> 